Hey everybody, I'm John and this is Blind Whiskey Reviews. Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me today here on Blind Whiskey Reviews, the most honest reviews on YouTube. Today I'm bringing you a fun review that I've wanted to do for quite a while. I've had this bottle for a very long time and it felt appropriate to do it today because coming up this weekend is the UFC fight where Conor McGregor makes his return against Cowboy Cerrone. If, for those of you that don't know, I'm a big MMA and UFC fan. I've been watching forever since I was in high school, so I'm a big fan. Can't wait for the fight this weekend and I thought it'd be fun to review Conor McGregor's whiskey, Proper 12. So. While I don't have high expectations for this whiskey, I'm excited to try it out. I have seen some reviews of this and none of them were very good for the whiskey. It, it, for the most part, it sounded like it's just pretty mediocre at best. So, but anyways, I wanted to do it. We're gonna get into it. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this whiskey, regardless of what other people have said. Um, it was, I did do a little reading on this bottle and they did say that it was aged a minimum of three years in bourbon barrels. So, that all sounds pretty decent, right? Triple distilled as most Irish whiskeys are, bottled at 40%, alcohol by volume, 80 proof. So I like, I actually like the packaging, I like the labeling, it's very him, it's very Irish. It's got his tattoo of the uh, tiger on the front, so pretty cool bottle. But let's get into this. Good pop, real cork. Smells decent. All right. And this also says on it that it's a, a smooth blend with hints of vanilla, honey, and toasted wood. So we'll see if maybe we can pick out those notes on this guy. Actually, it smells <clears throat> pretty flavorful for an Irish whiskey on the nose. Definitely have some honey, some light fruits. There's almost like a peach or apricot kind of note on there as well. Yeah, a little vanilla. Maybe like a hint of citrus. It's almost like a licorice character in there as well. Spill drop. All right, well enough smell on this thing, let's get to the taste. Cheers. You know, first taste, I'm getting a lot of those notes that I got across the nose. There's a, like a really big like peach character on it, which is kind of surprising. Let's get another taste. Yeah, there's definitely like a honey sweetness, a little vanilla, this big, big burst of, I mean, it definitely tastes like peach to me. It's not like, it's not like the sweetness of peach, but it's like that aftertaste of peach. We've kind of got that like a little bit of that like bitter skin and some of the sweetness from the peach and it's actually kind of good. There's a little bit of bitterness on the back end. It doesn't finish very sweet. Got a little pop of like red apple this time. I mean, first impressions, I'm kind of impressed. I didn't expect this whiskey to be good at all. It's not expensive. Um, I heard, you know, moderate, re mediocre reviews at best about it um, when this was released. But for what it is, I think it's decent. Get one more taste here.
Yeah, more of the same. You know, I wasn't going to do this. I wasn't going to do our normal uh, giving it some air time in between and, letting, and coming back and tasting it again because, you know, on a typical Irish whiskey, air time's not doing a whole lot for it, um, especially on a 40% on a ABV release. But um, I really want to see if this peach character sticks around because that's kind of like my favorite thing here. Um, it's very forward. It's very bold in this whiskey. And I kind of want to see if it sticks around or if it backs off a little bit. Really, that's kind of like... The, the predominant note and it, I like it. I think it's a really good and unique note for this whiskey. So I really want to see if it sticks around. So we're going to do what we normally do in these no time like the present reviews. We're going to give it the opportunity to have 20, 30 minutes to open up and we'll kind of see if some of these characters stick around, come forward, back off a little bit. So let's uh, do that in a sec. All right, so the whiskey's been in the glass for about 20, 25 minutes, somewhere in there. And I'm really curious to see how it's opened up, if at all. So let's give it a taste. That big orchard fruit note is still there. That peach is still there. Hmm. I really like that note. More of the same. Didn't change too much. Lots of the same notes, lots of the same flavors, and still that big, bold, for me, just a big, bold peach character, orchard fruit, apricot, a little apple on the front, still those notes of vanilla and honey, a little bit of citrus, one more taste. What can I say? I am impressed with this whiskey. And I'm not trying to sit here and tell you that this is some mind-blowing whiskey. It certainly isn't. I just had, excuse me, I just had such, I guess, low expectations for this whiskey that it's really nice to see that it's actually a decent quality whiskey. And especially for the price point that this whiskey's out there at, I paid, I think this was $19.99, I think it was 20 bucks. Um, for a $20 whiskey, some good flavors, very easy drinking. Obviously, any whiskey at 80 proof would be, but it's got a really reasonable amount of flavor for an 80 proof whiskey, which is refreshing. It's nice. And it's nice that it has that flavor. Sometimes, you know, like for example, with Jameson, I think it's just such a stripped down whiskey, and there's at least their standard Jameson release. You don't get any great flavor on it. You don't get much going on with it. It's just a pretty neutral spirit for the most part. And this has got some really nice flavor. So at this point, I'm impressed. I'm curious to see what the blind review will bring and I'm curious to see what happens with once this whiskey has a little bit of time to open up. Sometimes on whiskeys like this, the neck pour ends up being more flavorful than the whiskey tastes after a couple of weeks. So we may experience that with this bottle and we'll find that out with the blind review. But here, first impressions, I'm impressed. There's flavor, it's easy drinking, it's a perfect whiskey to drink while you're watching the UFC fight this weekend. So um, as much as I thought I was going to crap all over this, I can't. I think for what it is, it meets expectations and maybe even exceeds them a little bit. Um, for a three-year-old whiskey, you really can't tell that it's that young. Um, it's got great flavor and it's, it's inexpensive. It's a budget pour. So that's fantastic. Like I said, I'm impressed. McGregor, you did a good job on this one. So... Um, not that he's ever going to see this, but anyways, guys, I mean, I, I would say go out and pick a bottle up. I mean, if you like Irish whiskey, you want to try it out. I wouldn't be afraid. There was a lot of bad reviews of this out there saying it was just, meh, it wasn't that good. And perhaps it's changed since it was initially released. Maybe they've had more time to hone and refine it. And cause this, I bought this bottle not all that long ago. So perhaps this whiskey's kind of, uh, gone through a little bit of a transformation from when it was first, first released until now. Um, so perhaps that's the case. And if you initially tried it and didn't like it, I would definitely suggest you maybe at least at a bar or somewhere else, go, go grab another pour. It's decent. It's drinkable. And I'm sure at a bar or anywhere else, it's pretty inexpensive. So I'm impressed. Thumbs up. I'll recommend it. Go pick it up. Like I said, don't have high expectations for it. I'm not sitting here and trying to pump it up and make it something crazy. It is an 80 proof whiskey. So don't 
Don't expect a lot out of it. But for a $20 80 proof whiskey, I think it's good, drinkable, and probably a really good whiskey to have around for people that don't drink whiskey. It's, it's very smooth and, and definitely not in your face. So anyways, guys, love to know what you think about this whiskey. If you've had the opportunity to try it, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. You gotta, you gotta tell me. Is this, is this as good as I think it is, or is it just, you know, maybe, like I said, a neck pour and this bottle turns into absolute garbage in a couple of weeks. I don't know. Um, oh, I didn't give you a score. I will give you a score on this one. <sighs> I mean, I feel like I want to give it like an 80. 79? It, it's, like I said, this is not a mind-blowing whiskey by any stretch of the imagination, but if you take into consideration what it is, I think I'm trying to give it a higher score because of uh, me knowing the price and knowing it's an 80 proof whiskey and I'm impressed by that and if that's the case I'm giving it something in the 80s. I really think though if I was to do this blind I'm going to give it somewhere in like a uh, 78, 79 probably. So we'll give it we'll give it that 79. It's still in, in a, on the high end of a, of a you know, average good whiskey. So um, again let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at blind underscore reviews. You can catch me on Instagram at Mission Bottle Kill, where I'm posting pictures of people killing all kinds of great bottles of whiskey. So if you want me to repost your pic, just tag at Mission Bottle Kill in the post. You can also send me an email at blind whiskey reviews. That's whiskey with an e at gmail.com. And until next time, cheers.